one of the things that attracted me to Searsucker is, one, the opportunity to actually come back home because I am an Augusta native. So that is the number one thing. Number two is actually to uh, come with my partner for the first time and the music, the, the lifestyle of Searsucker, just the environment of everybody just getting together. We're just very thankful to have Lamont here. He's a fashion icon in North Carolina, a stylist, vintage shop owner, model, and a, a great friend of mine. It's the lifestyle. You know, it's the fashion, it's the music, it's the food, and it's the people gathering together, fellowship. And that's what really drew me. What's crazy about it is when we went to college, I went down to Fort Valley State University, and all the guys from Augusta were known by what they wore. And I didn't have to even ask. People come say, hey, that's one of your homeboys over there. They're one of your homeboys based on what they had on. So that was, uh, you know, sort of kind of a little thing that we always kept in Augusta that, hey, Augusta's Prep USA. Uh, I've been all around the globe, and every time I meet somebody and they know somebody from Augusta, that person from Augusta leaves a lasting impression on them. Just their character, the way they carry themselves, their charisma. It's just, it's just who we are. It's, it's the preppy look. And as I've often seen it said, you take those first four letters, that P-R-E-P, -E it also lends itself to being prepared. So it's a lifestyle which you must always be prepared to live, demonstrate, and exhibit, exhibit at all times. And me and Charles have been dressing seersuckers for a long time. And people wonder, where did you all get that style from? But we've, we've, I guess we've been born and bred into that style because that's how we dress. And we take it very seriously. It's also prepared because he grew up in a small quaint town like Augusta or Aiken, which is the polo capital of the world, influenced by his neighborhood, ends up going to school. But because of his mannerisms, because he wore nice clothes, he dressed up so he was less likely to act up. And we have a lot of examples of that today. Part of our Redressing America's Youth Campaign, Ray, is about educating our youth about dressing and the importance of how people look at them and give them respect. You see a lot of copycat emblems that you can't really decipher from far away. Once you see a tatted croc emblem, you know automatically that is tatted croc. You can't mistake it for anything else. Even in Augusta, the most hood spots in the world, the most hood spots in Augusta, rocks, rocks Sperry's, they rock Searsuckers, they rock plans, they rock it all. My child, my child's in college. He dresses just as well as I do. And we love wearing Searsuckers, plans, Madras pants. And people just really, they know when you're from Augusta, I, when I was in college, they knew when I walked by, that was a person from Augusta. Um, I was excited about the Searsucker. I had a dress, I was ready to wear it. like something really close to home and the masters actually so I don't have to drive really far out of my way to get all snazzy on my Friday night. <laughs>